breaking news, a mass shooting at a Dollar General store in Jacksonville, Florida. Just moments ago, ABC News confirmed that multiple people have been killed and the shooter is dead. And that area remains blocked off with FBI agents joining local police at the scene. Our community is sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is a tragic moment. My heart is heavy and I'm just I'm just tired seeing all the shootings. Again, this is still a very active situation. We, of course, will keep you updated on air and on our free ABC New ABC NY app. World News Tonight will have the very latest as well coming up right after Eyewitness News. At 18 p.m., he texted his father and told his father to check his computer. At 1.53 p.m., the shooter's family members called the Clay County Sheriff's Office. By that time, he had already began shooting in Jacksonville. The Clay County Sheriff's Office, who has been assisting our agency with this investigation, received information after the shooting that the shooter had authored several manifestos, one to his parents, one to the media, and one to federal agents. Portions of these manifestos detail the shooter's disgusting ideology of hate. Plainly put, this shooting was racially motivated and he hated black people. He wanted to kill niggers. That's the one and only time I'll use that word. I want to be very clear that there is absolutely no evidence that the shooter is part of any large group. We know that he acted completely alone. If you take a look at the images on the screen, you'll be able to see what he utilized. The weapons that the shooter used today are a Glock and an AR-15 style rifle. This is a dark day in Jacksonville's history. Any loss of life is tragic, but the hate that motivated the shooter's killing spree adds an additional layer of heartbreak. There's no place for hate in our community, and this is not Jacksonville. As a member of this Jacksonville community, I am sickened by this cowardly shooter's personal ideology of hate. Homicide detectives are actively investigating this tragedy, and despite the fact that the shooter is dead, they will continue to investigate this until we have a complete understanding of what happened and even why he did it. This is a tragic moment. My heart is heavy and I'm just, I'm just tired seeing all the shootings. You know, we have four districts into one and as a community, the mayor and I was just together on this past Thursday and we want a solution. Our sheriff is doing the best that he can, but as an alignment and resources to the community, we gotta keep working together. This right here today was a tragedy. And I understand, I, I think the young man who was doing the shooting, I think um, he has been killed, um, but the people in this community, they're hurting and, and they have every right to. You know, this, this makes no sense. I am very, very angry right now. I'm emotional. You know, we got kids in this community seeing all of this, and this is unnecessary. You know, it's unjust that we can't, we can't even walk on the sidewalks. We're not safe in any stores and I'm, I'm looking for opportunity. This community needs to come together. Everybody, please. Grab hands. Grab hands. Come on.